Hey, rest friends. My name is Aridian Fierro. We are your wrestling friends, your wrestling best friends. We have all of the cheese may here for you. We are talking about WrestleMania week, specifically meet and greets. And I could not do it alone. I am so excited to have Lo from Wrestling Wind Down and Ella J from a Wrestling Gal podcast. Hey, ladies, I'm so excited to have you guys on and I'm ready to see these meet and greets. How are you guys? I'm, I'm doing great. wonderful. I'm great as well. How are you, Oridian? I am so excited because I have seen these meet and greets, but like some of the rest friends have not. So I'm ready to get emotional. I'm excited and it's just going to be so great. I'm so ready. And I love the backgrounds that you guys have. Lo, I see that you have your Raw Women's Championship in the back. I love it. Here for yes, it. the title has to be close to me to defend it. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> and Ella, I love the autograph pictures you have behind you. I see Jeff Hardy there. Okay, Miss Charlotte. There's well, Mr. Miz. Mr. Miz. Love to see it. Let's talk about the first meet and greet. Um, so this year, WrestleMania had virtual meet and greets available. I'm not going to say the prices because... I'm not going to expose us like that because we did get bamboozled. We got <laughs> swindled. <laughs> Absolutely. Mine was with the Bellas. The Bella Twins was on Sunday morning and they had just been inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. So I'm super excited for you guys to see them. So we're going to be like kind of live reacting to them. And some of these we're actually seeing for the first time, like those us not in the videos. <laughs> so you're going to get our genuine reactions here. Genuine live reactions. We love to see it. Hello. Hey, hey, look hello. At you. Master. Yeah. Oh my God. I'm so excited to talk to you guys. You look beautiful, by the way. Thank you. I know you. You, you. you look Thank amazing. You. That Thank like glam on. I love it. Yes, full glam for you guys. Um, congratulations, first of all, on being inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. And you are the first female duo to be inducted. So I'm so excited about that. What was it Thanks. like to be there at WrestleMania with the crowd? Oh, it was very emotional. It was it emotional. Was... The energy was incredible. It was like, I feel like all the superstars, no one wanted to get off stage or out of the ring because it just felt so amazing to be back with the fans. I agree. You knew something oh. was always missing and to have that connection back, yeah. you just didn't want to let it go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. You guys have been so successful inside and outside of the ring. You guys have Bella Radici. You have um, your clothing line. And of course, you know, your bestselling authors, which I got an autographed copy of the book. Yeah. Um, what is next for the Bellas? What do you guys have your eye on? Well, let's Ooh. say we have We're, two announcements coming. We do have two. Not pregnancy. Yeah. <laughs> We do have two big announcements coming that are going to be really excited. Uh, exciting. Exciting. And people have been asking us to kind of make these things. So Whoa. we can't say them right now, but in the next couple months we can. You can't drink it or eat it. That's <laughs> the clue. <laughs> That's a good clue. Oh, my goodness. When, uh, um, let's say 20 years from now, if, you know, your kids, Buddy, Birdie, and Mateo would want to be wrestlers, do you guys think, that you would be supportive of that? Would we see the Bella Boys at WrestleMania? Man, I love oh, that. you definitely, you will. definitely will. Birdie and Buddy especially already show so many signs of being future wrestlers. Mateo has definitely shown signs of being a pro dancer. He has. He's but been showing. That could work. He could do a Fandango gimmick. Yeah, that is true. He could be the next Fandango. Uh -huh. I do feel that for sure. But I definitely think you could see our families there. I think Bella Twins, we're pretty much here for life. We are lifers, lifers, our family and us. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for talking with me you. today. You guys are so beautiful and I love you so much. You're so inspirational. Oh, Thank, Thank you, you too. Much. Love right, you. Bye. 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 I was so <laughs> shook. Lord Jesus, I was so nervous. And like at the beginning, you saw like my hand was flopping around because I had my headphones on. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, it's the Bellas. And this is like the first like actual conversation that I've had with them. Like mm -hmm. um, I have met them before in person. Um, and Brie really surprised me because the first time that I met her, she didn't really like say a lot. Nikki was the one that was like saying a lot of things. So it was a nice surprise. And I'm so glad that I got to talk to them. I thought they were so sweet. What do you think they're working on next? Um, I don't know. I want to say it's like maybe something in their makeup line. That's what I was thinking too. Probably oh. like skincare maybe. Oh my God. I would, I would go so broke buying. <laughs> 
their they skin. They need to let us in on their makeup secrets. They do. They really do. I'm. I need like a really. They go good, to Honey Eileen. I need a really good like red lipstick from Nikki. Like that's their iconic go to lip. So if they come out with like a red lipstick or something, I don't even know. Maybe do they have like a cooking book or something? Maybe like Brie could. Uh, you think <laughs> they're gonna take a page out of Renee's book? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> Who knows? Um, but that was my first meet and greet. I was super excited um, for it. And Ella, you had a meet and greet with Liv Morgan. Talk to us about that. I did. So Cricket kind of brought back their meet and greets again for WrestleMania. So I was fortunate enough to be one of the winners, one of the very few winners luckily selected to have a meet and greet with Liv Morgan. I didn't honestly think I was going to win, but I'd been wanting to meet her for a while. So and over my shoulder, you can see the poster I have of her slightly, and I got her shirt on today. So that was my actual first time meeting her, and she was so sweet. And I was actually her first virtual meet and greet ever. I was first in the queue, so I was kind of nervous having to live up to that. So it was very fun, though, meeting her. She was so sweet. Having to live up to it? I saw what ha, she did ha, there. Ha, ha, ha. So let's <laughs> check out your meet and greet. I'm for it. She looks so cute, first of all. Like, oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> Hi, love. How are you? Hi. Oh, my gosh. That photo behind you. Oh, my gosh. The quality is amazing. Like, oh. honestly, I'm shook at how amazing it turned out. I love it, it so, so cool. much. I love it. It's this so vibe. cool. Yeah, it it's so awesome. cool, dude. Um, so first of all, I thank you so much for being such an inspiration to me and a lot of other people, a lot of females, you know. And so I do a podcast and we're all about girl power. So I want to know who are some of your female inspirations in life? Oh, my gosh. I feel like right, right away, the first thing you so much for saying that. I feel like the first person that comes to my mind right away is like I think of my mom. Yeah. And then, you know, I love wrestling so much growing up. I feel like my first, like, person that was my role model that wasn't my mother was, like, Lita. Just yeah. Goddess. Um, oh, I don't know. I'm I'm inspired for so many people. Like all my coworkers, Ruby inspires me. No, mm-hmm. Bailey inspires me. Sasha inspires me. Um, yeah, Natty inspires me. I feel like there's so many women around me that I find inspiration in. Um, you inspire me. You have a podcast. It's so amazing. Oh, That's thank you. Cool. Love you so much. So honored to be your first. Oh, have a great day. Oh, I it off. I hate oh. cricket how they like cut you off. Like <laughs> you're in the middle of saying bye and they're just like, whoop. To be fair, they did add like 15 seconds for me. So I oh. tried to be really, really fast at the end. And it, that countdown is so daunting though. I got caught up in that moment too. I didn't even realize she was complimenting the lights in my room. <laughs> like my background oh. was cool. I thought she was still talking about the poster. I think I was just really caught up in the moment and nervous that I didn't even comprehend until uh, watching back afterwards that she was complimenting my room. I thought she was talking about my poster um, <laughs> more. But she was so, so unbelievably sweet. I've I've never heard anybody have a bad experience with her. And she seems really genuine and really sweet and humble. So I had a great first experience meeting her. I would love to meet her again. I love that she was complimenting her coworkers. And then that she yeah. mentioned like Trish and Lena. She's like, you know, not my moms, but like I, I looked up to them and I'm, oh, that's so cute. I love that she's got that relationship with her coworkers, especially Ruby, because of course they are a tag team. I'm so excited for like what's next for her. What do we think is going to happen with Liv Morgan now? I'm hoping that the Riot Squad finally gets like a proper opportunity at the Women's Tag Team Championships. Yeah, that's what I was And they finally say. like take it in the bag, take home the win because I'm ready for them to start the reign of Riot. We live to riot, right? Yeah. So I'm excited. Hopefully, they had a pretty good showing in the WrestleMania um, match. Again, obviously, they lost in the end, but yeah. they, they had a pretty good showing in the tag team turmoil matchup. So I have high hopes for them, but then again, you never know. Flo, I agree, too. I mean, champions? I think as an established tag team, they would be great to go, you know, be the tag team champions because we brought it up before that they keep on pairing, you know, these random people together, but... Mm-hmm. They've been one of the longest tag teams that have been together. So I think it would be really cool to see her and Ruby hopefully attain those titles sooner rather than later. Yeah. Now, Lo, you met one of your faves. We're going to start with Naomi first. Um, I was so excited when you told me that you were going to feel the glow. I was ready for you. <laughs> So funny story about Naomi. So I was actually supposed to have her meet and greet 
the same day as my other one. And they had technical difficulties. I was in the queue. I had all my stuff ready to go. And I was sitting there and I was on Twitter and people are like, it's, it's canceled. It's postponed. And I'm over here still in the queue. I'm like, fourth. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what the hell is going on. <laughs> and then someone comes up on my screen. They're like, yeah, she's having technical difficulties. So it's delayed. And I was like, okay, whatever. So they eventually sent the time and it was at 6 a.m. my time. So when we watch this lovely video, I look like I'm half awake. <laughs> That is why I'm I'm present. I'm here, but I was not all the way here. I have um, not seen this video yet, so ooh, I'm excited. We're going to get some real live reactions today. <laughs> and I'm very close to the screen, too. Hi. Hi, Gord. How are you? I'm good. Good. Happy to be talking to you this morning. <laughs> very bright and early morning. I'm in Las Vegas. You're in Tampa, oh. right? Yeah, I like Good the posters luck. in the back. Oh, thank you. I'm going to add yours right below Bianca's, like right there. Yes. <laughs> so my question for you is, you've been in the WWE for a very long time. When I started watching, you were on TV already. How does it feel to see other Black women like Bianca Belair and Sasha Banks be able to make history and you're there to watch it? um super like rewarding and fulfilling mm -hmm. um i know that i've contributed to Absolutely. that and women before me have contributed to that and it's just it's it just i don't know like it gives me goosebumps like you know and I, i'm so excited and and happy to see them mm -hmm. you know perform and i'm gonna be right there rooting them on you know, and proud of them and happy for them. Just like, just like everyone else, you right. know, it's, it's, it's just crazy. And I, I feel so like lucky to still be around and still be here to witness such an incredible moment. Right. So it's, um, it's just very fulfilling and I'm so proud of them. And especially because there's such beautiful people inside, you know, um, I, 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 I couldn't, they deserve it. And you deserve it too. You deserve your mom. Thank you. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, you know, I, I'm gonna get mine one way or another. Absolutely. You know, I keep grinding, keep working hard. So I'm I'm not worried about me. But those 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 two, um, they deserve it. I'm super happy. So well, good luck this weekend. Nice meeting you. Thank you, love. Bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when I originally thought of the question, I meant to ask it as how does she feel knowing that she's the foundation of it happening? And I feel like when I said it, it sounded like, how does it feel to watch someone else in the spotlight and you're not in the spotlight? That's not how I meant it. Like, I meant it definitely as like, you know, there's been Naomi, there's been Jacqueline, there's been Jazz, there's been so many different Black women who have been in WWE and they haven't had the opportunity to be in the main event at WrestleMania or even be at WrestleMania at all. Um, and I definitely phrased that question wrong. I meant to phrase it a different way, but I think her answer, you know, answered the question that I actually meant to ask. Yeah. And she was so lovely. I loved her sparkle outfit. I'm here for her. I She's loved always her. popping off. Like She I is. Honestly, has one of the best styles ever. And it was early for her, too. Lo, I mean, I also applaud you for looking good in the morning because Lord <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I know what that is like because Damien Priest was also in the morning it wasn't as early as the Naomi meet and great but I was excited for Damien because like he makes me a little nervous um I don't know why and then he got put into a storyline with Bad I know Bunny. why stop <laughs> <laughs> and then I asked him about that so I told you see how I totally avoided your question low um let's just let's just watch it I hate how there's always that like that they're on the screen first waiting for you and then you pop up and you're just like oh and it feels like this is like way back in the day. Do you guys remember Omega, like the chat room? Yes. And it would like the person would be like right there and you would be in there already. That's how this shit feels. Excuse my language. But that's how it feels like they're sitting in there like for 10, 15 seconds, maybe. And they're kind of like, you'll see it with my next one, too. She's like, she fixed her hair. She went and fixed a cup of tea. Like <laughs> she did everything before Let I got on in. there. <laughs> Hola, Hello, how are you? 
I'm good. ¿Cómo estás? Bien, bien. Muchas gracias. I'm so excited to see you at WrestleMania. It's one thing to be called up from NXT to the main roster, but it's another to be put into a storyline with Bad Bunny, with Miz and Morrison. What has that been like for you? Wild. I mean, it's like, am I, am, is this real? Is this really happening? You know, like, I've become friends with Bad Bunny, and now we get to work together side by side and goof off and laugh and really enjoy everything we're doing. And then, yeah, we're, we get to, you know, brawl with Miz and Morrison. WrestleMania, it's It's all a blur. Like, I can't, I'm still not sure if this is really happening. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And then you're backstage in Bugatti's, which I'm sure is how you travel normally, right? You know, I got my own sweet ride, but I'll, gi I'll give it to Bunny. He got me beat on the car game. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And you're going to be representing Latinos this WrestleMania. What does that mean to you to be able to do that? It, it means the world. You know, I never thought that the, that idea was never in my head. You know, I was focused on, you know, just just accomplishing the dream. And now that I'm here, I realize that I have a platform and I realize that I can make a difference in something else. And everybody that knows me knows I brag about living forever and wanting, wanting to do things that people remember me after long I'm, after I'm gone. Yeah. Well, this could be something that they remember me for, you know, helping our community, the whole Latino community, not just one little island. You know, it's everyone. So I, I'm excited and I'm honored to be in the position I'm in. Well, I'm so excited to watch you tonight. And one more thing before, you know, we get cut off. You have an action figure coming out. Are you going to buy it? I hope they give me one, first of all. <laughs> But yes, I'm sure I will buy many of them. Every time I go to the store and I see one, I'll probably pick one up. You know, it's cool because I can kind of hide behind a mask so they don't know it's me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, But I definitely will. I'm just going to take a couple of these, you know. I'm so excited to watch you tonight. And good luck. And thank you so much. You're making Latinos proud. I know it. Thank you. Take okay. care. All right, bye. I was so nervous. Um, I didn't even know like how to react. And I kept like looking in the corner because like you get so sensitive of the time that you have left. So you're like, do I have time to ask another question? And it happened with him and the Bellas that I had like a solid three or four seconds left. But like, what do you say at that point, yeah. right? Like after you've said um, everything that you had to say, I guess. Um, he had such a good showing at WrestleMania. I really thought He did such a good job with Bad Bunny and Miz and Morrison. Really fantastic. Um, Ella, you got to meet Miz. So talk to us a little bit about what that was like. Oh, my gosh. So much like Loa. So I had the question written down for him. I had like two questions. The first one, I had it written down right next to me. But once you get there, you kind of blank out a little bit like, Like the perf the wording was off in my chat with him. I think I don't know if I was just nervous or I was just caught up in it. So there's a phrase there. I meant to say it's not an easy road. I said it's not a difficult road. <laughs> And I'm like, that makes no sense. And I I literally had the question written out in front of me, but I was so caught up. You, He got the gist of the message, obviously, but I'm like, I'm so self-critical. And I'm like, I, I'm like, this is going to be out there forever now. But I think he got the gist of the message. And like you, though, I had another question, but I didn't realize that the time was already so low. So the second answer at the end was really, really rushed. But again, I loved beating The Miz. The Miz is one of my all-time favorites. And so it was really cool to see his insight into especially like his second WWE championship brain and to get like a legitimate answer and like what his perspective of it was. So he was awesome. Pun was, intended. Yes, I was just about to say pun intended. <laughs> How are you, King? I am doing amazing. I'm doing awesome. I know. So first of all, just want to say you are absolutely robbed of a rightful second title reign, first of all, since the last time I saw you. And secondly, I listened to your interview with Renee shortly afterwards. And honestly, I was just really, really blown away by how much you have overcome and like had to deal with to be where you are now. So I'm curious, like, Where did you find this? Like, how did you combat this self-doubt to now overcome and be where you are now? Because that's not a tough road. I think it's just trying to be a positive person and turn negativity into positivity. So when you say, like, uh, I had a short WWE reign, I look at it as not a short WWE reign. I did exactly what was needed for that title. Uh, it was eight days. And anytime, if you have an eight-day, one-day, uh, one hour, one minute, one second, you are the guy. You're the WWE champion. It's your job to make sure that everyone that's held it before you, it still holds its prestige and you elevate it to the next. And now you look where the WWE championship is. I did exactly that. I elevated it. Bobby Lashley has been on fire. 
and now he's going to go up against Drew McIntyre, and they have made an incredible match. I have a match with Bad Bunny that I think people are very excited about. So it, it all worked together, and it was all revolved around this guy. So I take pride in my work and everything I do, and I try to make sure that even though I am the bad guy, when I lose, you're cheering and happy. And so I create positivity out there. Well, I'm definitely going to be cheering for you regardless. Anyway, I'm so proud of you for how much you've overcome. Another thing I quickly wanted to know, you're obviously one of the best on the mics of all time, the best in my opinion. So who do you think has the potential to live up to your like level on the microphone? Ah, that's a lot of hard work that somebody's going to have to do. Maybe you. Thank you for the video. Thank okay, Ms. Ella. Okay, that you. was a surprise. Maybe you. That was so cute. He speaks so well, and you can definitely tell the rounds and experience he has in media because his answer was so well-spoken and eloquent and well thought out that he he's amazing. He's really awesome. And so it was really fun to see his actual perspective of his own title reign as to somebody who, like me, who's an outsider, he put a positive spin on it. And you can definitely see that he's not only in it for himself, but he's in it to put other people over and do what's best for the company. And that's what his reign was. He was a transitional champion to serve a better purpose. And I'm still a little bit bitter from it, but I get it from a business perspective. He was able to elevate the WWE championship so we could get Bobby and Drew at Mania. And then that transitioned him into that tag team, into that tag team matchup we saw at Mania with Miz and Morrison versus Bad Bunny and Damian Priest, which Aridian, that was me versus you. I lost, Girl, but I'll but get you back one day. Fantastic. And <laughs> that just goes to show um, how great Miz and Morrison are mm -hmm. because literally any task that WWE gives them, they overachieve. And there was no one else, I think, that could have handled a celebrity match like that mm -hmm. and made Bad Bunny look so good because. Mm -hmm. Even though Bad Bunny trained and stuff, you know, it's it's different. You you don't just become like a WWE superstar. So they did such a good job. And I applaud Miz and Morrison for doing so well because that Canadian destroyer outside yes. the ring. Oh, my God. That, that John took. Oh, yes. my God. That is such a team effort. It really, really is. And Bad Bunny did put in a lot of work. As we heard, he did so much training at the PC and all that. But again, it's a collaboration effort. And Miz and Morrison were two of the most gifted veterans in this scenario, two of the safest workers. I don't think either of them have ever had a really serious injury ever in their entire careers. So, And they are very capable of going over as heels and putting over Bad Bunny. Then again, Bad Bunny is his own personality and is so electric. But I agree with you. There was no two other perfect people for this scenario. Yeah, and I like how you said that they were electric because someone else who was definitely electric was the main event of night one. And Lo, you got the opportunity to speak to Bianca Belair. What was that like? I wish I could be here when I grow up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I so I had met Bianca the month prior in the cricket um, sweepstakes, kind of like what Ella did with Liv. So... You'll see when it comes up, I mentioned that and she somehow remembers me, which I'm over here like, what? <laughs> like, you're over here doing the Kelly Clarkson show and all types of stuff. You met a ton of people and you remember me, whatever. But it was an honor to speak with her. Every time I speak with her, I just feel like she's very eloquent, but she's also very down to earth. Like, I was less nervous this time meeting her, but I just feel like you're just talking to like, you know, a normal person. I think a lot of us get so nervous going in there. We're like, oh my God, this person we watch on TV every week, mm -hmm. you know, what if I mess up my words or what if I do this? And I mean, they're just everyday people. And it just shows when you have these talks with them, you know, how relaxed they are. I'm sure they're nervous too, but you don't see it, you know, when they're on the camera. So, so I'm ready to watch it. I haven't seen this full oh. one. So I'm excited. Hi, Bianca. Hello. Hey. How are you? I met you last month. I don't know if you remember me. Yeah, I was about to say, I I know who you are. I was like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Are you excited for WrestleMania? Ooh, very excited. Of course she is. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of like, I glitched out just now. I was like, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, no, I'm super excited. My family's going to be there. And Aww. 
Um, that's like what I'm most, that's like one of the things I'm most excited about too, but it's just going to be amazing to be in there with Sasha Banks at WrestleMania. So definitely, definitely excited. Are y'all main eventing? Well, I mean, according to Twitter, (laughs) we are. (laughs) I hope so. You deserve it. (laughs) Yeah. Um, I don't, but I don't know. I don't, I don't have any way to like confirm it, but Mm -hmm. all I can say is, is that I would love to main event. Um, but no matter where we are on the card, we are the main event. We're going to show up and we're going to show out. So it's right. about the moment and, the, you know, the representation will be there. And, you know, we're on the grandest stage of them all. So it's going to it's going to be great. It's going to be great no matter what. I'm looking forward to it. I know you make your own gear. So are you, you're making your own gear for this, right? What color I, are you doing? Well, um, I've been, like, staying up uh, for the past, like, three or four nights just making my gear. So it's a, oh my God. <laughs> it's a, it's a surprise. Cause I don't want to, I'm still trying to make sure that it's going to work out. So I don't want to uh-huh. say like, Oh, it's going to be this color. And then I make it. I'm like, Oh, no, I got to start. Over. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a, uh, let's just say, hopefully it lives up to the expectations and it's great, but right. Yeah, it's going to be great. So, but thank you so much for coming on here, meeting me again. And, Hopefully yes. I get to see you again. The next meet and greet, hopefully you'll be there too. So thank yeah, you. I will. Thank you. Lo, you better be there. Like, I felt like the whole last part was like very conversational. Like when I look at it now, I'm kind of like, was she supposed to tell me that? That she was up for three to four days working on her stuff? She was telling you her whole life. And then, <laughs> oh my God, so exciting. I, You look so like calm and like sweet with her. Like, maybe it's because you had already met her, so this time was, like, more chill. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But did you feel more comfortable the second time around? I mean, I was definitely nervous. I wasn't as nervous because I was hoping that she would remember me, and she did. So I felt a little bit calmer knowing that. I mean, if she would have been like, well, how much did we pay? Do you really think she was going to be like, I actually don't remember you. (laughs) I'd be like, okay, goodbye. (laughs) <laughs> I'm joking, but I I don't know. I think I think the more you meet these certain superstars that you've met numerous times, I think you get more comfortable as time goes on because you know, you've met them before. You might still be a little bit nervous, which makes sense, but you're not like, "Oh my god, I'm meeting Bianca Belair today. Like, what do I ask? What do I do?" Like, you're still nervous obviously, but you're not frantically nervous, I yeah. guess you should say. Yeah, this was my second time meeting The Miz as well. I wasn't as nervous as I was the first time last year. So I was a little bit more prepared. And I'm like, I know I know what he's all about, his vibe. Right. I had a great experience with him the first time. I was like, I'm ready for this. I wasn't as nervous, obviously. But as you said, like, as it goes on and on, like, you meet them a certain number of times, you get more comfortable with them. You know what to expect. I think we really took advantage of the meet and greet situation. And we were in the group chat prepping the questions like what should we ask what should we do like we got two minutes what's gonna happen and it definitely showed in social media because I know you guys have told me that a lot of people were hitting you up saying like oh my god how did you get this interview congratulations little did they know we paid (laughs) can I have a word on that yeah go ahead you know, I think a lot of people expect all fans to go in there, tears falling down their face, frantic, you know, and obviously we do podcasts, you know, we're in this realm where, you know, we ask questions for a living or for part of our living. And I think people need to kind of expect it at this point that if, you know, Ella goes to a meet and greet, she's going to ask the important question. She's not just going to bullshit around and just sit there and stare at the Miz. Like she's going to ask what needs to be asked. So for people to like assume that we're getting interviews is great because it shows that what we're bringing to the table is professionalism. We're not just like, hi, oh my God, you know, we can have our shit together for a couple minutes and ask a question that we think would help with our content. And I think a lot of people should not assume things. They should ask questions first because, you know, things get misconstrued and people think, oh, WWE is giving all these people opportunities, these small podcasters, uh, no, WWE got my last coin. I've been eating ramen all week. What you mean? <laughs> I'm joking about the ramen. <laughs> and it's like, definitely, um, we're not hating on people who got me in Greece and didn't ask, didn't ask questions. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, 
it's just that as podcasters, I feel like our minds work a little different. And we were like, if we're going to spend all this money, we got to get something out of it. Because Lord Jesus and Miss Ella, you were asking hard questions. And Lo, you were too. Are you guys made of Ente? What are you wearing? What's the gear? Like top notch quality content. I think you guys provided with these meet and greets. I'm so proud of you guys. I love you. Great content. <laughs> Don't count yourself out, girlfriend. Uh, yeah. Uh, you out there having casual conversations with the Bellas and Damien cheers. Priest. You and Damien talked about like so many things in that two minutes. That's that's impressive. And uh, like I, on the spot too. I feel, Even if you had it planned, some of it was still on the spot, I bet. I feel like with Damien, they're just so good at answering questions. Like they their their minds are used to like go, yeah. go, go. So I'm really glad that we were able to actually get some good stuff because if I would have just freaked out for two minutes like it's it's crazy like I know it's awkward for them to have to lead a conversation mm -hmm. and it's also awkward for us if we don't have anything um, but I just I think that they should do this again next year what do you guys think would you go for it again if they had virtual ones instead of in-person meet and greets again oh no. summer slams around the corner I think <laughs> they'll I think we're definitely gonna get more coming up <laughs> Ella's like, I already got my check ready to go <laughs> for SummerSlam meet and greets. Maybe I would probably sit out for a virtual meet and greet. Like, because after realizing that I had been swindled, my feelings were a little bit hurt by World Wrestling Entertainment. Like, knowing that I paid $125 to $175 for a two minute meet and greet. And I saw people that have attended Access before, and they're like, Y'all are spending $125 on a two-minute video, which two minutes is way better than what Cricket is giving for the minute. But still, like, you think about the interaction that you have with these superstars when you meet them in person. Yeah, it is short, but I think there's nothing better than just face-to-face -face contact. And if they do decide to have them at SummerSlam safely, obviously wearing masks, you know, I don't know how social distancing will work, but they'd have to put it in effect somehow. But I think that experience might be better than a two minute virtual meet and greet. I think a lot of people had a sour taste in their mouth after realizing, you know, we're getting swindled. They've robbed us. We we were, but like now we do have this moment, this video. True. For the rest of our lives, you know, like sometimes when you do a meet and greet, you don't get a video and it's just in your head and you're just mm -hmm. not the same. But I do get it. In person is definitely different. And I'm, I mean, I'm just glad that this time around we got something to show for it, right? It, that we didn't just spend the money and mm -hmm. that was it because we did get swindled and bamboozled by World Wrestling Entertainment. <laughs> but I'm so glad that we were able to show Rest Friends audience the meet and greets that you guys had because you guys really asked great questions. You guys are some of my greatest friends in the podcasting community. And I'm so glad that you were able to come on and share your experiences with me and with rest friends so lo and ella thank you so much for being on this episode guys thank you for having me and us <laughs> <laughs> me and us lo can you tell everyone where they can follow you and wrestling wind down yes so you can follow wrestling wind down on twitter and instagram at wwdcast we're available on all your favorite streaming platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, iHeartRadio, and wherever you listen to your podcast. Hello, where can everyone follow you and a Wrestling Gal podcast? You can listen to a Wrestling Gal podcast basically anywhere you get your podcast, Apple, Spotify, Anchor, Stitcher, all your major podcasting platforms. And you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at a Wrestling Gal or a WrestlingGal.com. And you can follow Rest Friends on all social media platforms. We have Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Like, we are there. You can follow me on TikTok. Everything is on our Instagram. You can hit our link tree and follow everything Rest Friends related. You can head over to What a Maneuver and get your Rest Friends merch. But Ella and Lo, thank you guys so much. And I can't wait to have you guys back on. Maybe Ella will be back on for the Summer Slam meet and greets. Who knows? <laughs> Thank you, ladies, I'll be for there. being on. Bet. Thank you for Thank having you. us. Bye.